Hello and welcome to our channel. So today's topic, I'm going to show you a power automate flow which will run until a record which is created or updated has been approved by a team member or manager. And then according to approve or rejected, we want to update the record. So just like we have a uh, entity called order items, if I create a new uh, order, as you can see that approval is stated from starting, it's showing pending. And if somebody add any product here, these are the product that which are available just like electric group travel so now as you can see that uh, uh, somebody want to add this electric group shovel here and uh, just try to save it so uh, wherever our user added any record here so the company the client for that uh, this whenever uh, any order has been created uh, this or record should be sent to a manager or you can say team to analyze that quantity or price is good to go or not for that we will create a power automate flow for that we will go to our solution In the power apps go to solution click on cloud flow so we are going to create a new flow click on new automation cloud flow and it would be automated flow so whenever a record in order item entity has been created then this flow will run give a flow name And we will search the Tigo. Here change type would be added or modified. Table would be order item. Scope I will select organization. And the select column that uh, whenever when our flow should be uh, trigger when it's updated, I would select a column here. So for that, go back here, and I want uh, this flow be uh, uh, trigger again if any quantity has been updated or not. I want my flow to trigger whenever this field has been uh, if a new record has been created or this field has been updated. Now click on new step, a row by ID, and table name the same order item. Row ID I would select from uh, when a row is added or modified. Then click on new step. Search for start and wait for an approval action here. An approval type should be uh, approve or reject. Everyone must approve or uh, uh, approve reject first to respond. Everyone must approve. Uh, approve would be. Uh, when we select, if we are adding two or three people and everyone should be approved that uh, a record. So for now, I'm selecting this first to respond. And now give a title. Approve, ne approval needed for the order item. So now here we can use this get arrow by ID's dynamic values. We want uh, approval needed for the item. So product name should be come here. For the quantity. on this price and assign to in the assign to you have to need uh, mention the email address of the approval or rejector uh, for this record so i'm giving it mine and if i want to add someone else i could do it also so for now i'm just selecting my so I could test uh, it and show it to click on new step. Here I will add the condition. Condition should be outcome of this start and, uh, and wait for approval steps should be approved. If it is approved, then we will go to if yes column and update a row. Order items. And if we come down here, what we want to update, we want to update approved status. So if it is yes, then we want to up, up, uh, set it as approved. And the same thing we will do it from here. We will update a row, same thing, but this time we would select rejected. We select rejected here. 
click on save after saving it we will test it now it's been saved you can uh, uh, ignore the warning because i've selected the column there it is showing the same click on test i would test it manually because no there is no flow has been started yet click on test so for that i need to perform an action we will go to our crm again click on new add a new product so now as you can see uh, quantity would be eight click on save as you can see approval still is pending as you can see our flow has been started now it will send us approval now as you can see that it's it is started it is reached here start and wait for approval so i will go to our outlook my outlook and now as you can see that i've got this notification that i want to approve it or reject it and the same thing will come in my teams also if i go to my activity it is asking me the same approval needed for order i root bolters for eight the quantities is on this price okay so i can add any comment here yes this is approved and click on approve i could do the same with the reject also so now it's approved and now i'll go back to our flow now as you can see that our flow has run we got the response approve condition have been met true update arrow have been met so if you go back here now is now you can see spending now we'll refresh it and you can see this approval status will automatically change so now as you can say that for this record approval status has been changed so that's it from the video please like and subscribe